Hey guys, what up? I'm making this video for those interested in purchasing a muscle suit or a muscle kit from me. Um, this is the stuff you're going to need if you purchase a kit. You're going to be getting the muscles um, untrimmed, so you're going to be doing a little bit of trimming. So you're going to need some scissors because um, you might want to separate the pecs out like this. Uh, perhaps uh, leaving them together as one piece to keep them like about the same height or separate them out for individual pecs and just place them on your body um, same with the obliques and uh, ab pieces alright so that all comes on this big piece right here so you're gonna be needing scissors you're gonna need uh, popsicle sticks a bunch of these um, you're gonna need some uh, bobby pins or needles okay Got some needles there uh, you're gonna need nitrile gloves, so not the latex, but the nitrile gloves. Um, and the most important thing, you're gonna need Silpoxy by Smooth On, or a similar silicone glue like this. GE makes a really good uh, silicone glue that I haven't tried myself, but it's easy to find at most hardware stores. Uh, it's a clear silicone glue, but you're gonna need something for, that works with silicone. As um, some of you may know, nothing sticks to silicone but silicone itself, so it needs to be a good silicone glue. So you're gonna need that to put on the back of your piece and then uh, putting them on your garment. Um, you're gonna need a mannequin or duct tape dummy, depending on what you have, but you do wanna have something kinda of like this. Uh, this is a body form, but uh, when you have something like this it helps you with the positioning of all the pieces right so if you don't have a mannequin or you don't have a time to make a duct tape dummy then if you're thinking about gluing them on yourself with help you're you might want to like use some saran wrap around yourself or something like that to uh, keep the glue from uh, it's not a uh, too bad of an irritant glue but still that way it's not like you know going right up against your skin so again scissors needles or bobby pins silpoxy nitrile gloves that's it that's all you need so when you get your muscle kit uh, you're gonna be trimming out I, I do trim out these um, you know a little bit but there's like some further uh, flashing that might you might want to trim and clean up before you glue the pieces to your to your um, compression shirt or um, you know you, it, it might maybe you're doing it right against the costume on the inside or something I don't know what your plans are but the way I do it I use um, a very breathable uh, mesh material so that it's nice and breathable because these are meant to go under your costume um, that way it's gonna keep the heat to a minimum on the inside um, the way I'm trying to make uh, most of these are with a double mesh layer uh, and when you get that on an email and you're like what is the double mesh that just means that the muscles are covered uh, with a layer of an extra layer of mesh on top see to both protect the muscles and also uh, to reduce friction um, as you're putting your other costume on top. All right guys, so as you can see, I already started here. Um, this is why you need the, the bobby pins and needles just to hold pieces in place while the silicone cures. And it's actually a uh, pretty fast curing silicone. Um, this glue is actually uh, pretty good at curing within, you know, like five to 10 minutes. It'll be nice and gooey so the plate, the the piece will stay in place uh, for the most part but you still want to make sure you know instead of you having to just like press down on the piece on every piece until it's done you can use that to hold it into place so I'm gonna do another one right now so you guys can see how much glue I'm using and uh, uh, as you can see I I separated the chest uh, from from the abs and obliques uh, and that's just to keep like uh, more movement, uh, ease of movement. Uh, that's why I segmented the muscles the way that I did. Uh, but I do keep these two um, together um, with this uh, it, 
like this is indented anyway so like it'll still give you that nice like shape um, but I keep it like this so that they mostly stay at the same height um, but you can separate them if that's what you want to do all right so um, I'm using uh, as you can see some just like some chopsticks that you can get uh, you know next time you're getting uh, some uh, sushi or whatever just grab some extras um, so what you want to do is you just put some of this glue along the edges kind of like so I'm not sure if that's in frame or not yeah um, so along the edges like that I'm gonna start with this um, middle area first and then I'm gonna do the sides uh, separately because I don't know if I have enough glue here for that unfortunately these tubes do come in just the one size and it's uh, small so I recommend getting at least a couple of these if you're doing a a big project I got this whole this whole baggy bag all right so then you just um, use your chopstick or a popsicle stick to just kind of spread the glue around like so just get it as evenly as you can and um, as you can see I'm using a body form here but you can get a uh, you know a chip mannequin on Craigslist or something like that and it'll work just as well just something to keep uh, the muscles in place and to help you determine where it is that they're that they're supposed to go so you don't need to put a lot of pressure into the piece just enough to get both surfaces you know in contact and then as you can see like it, it's already staying there by itself you don't need um, to uh, you know like press it like hard into place um, but I am still going to just pin it because this is silicone so if it's not fully cured it can uh, it can slide down a little bit without you noticing. Um, and don't worry about the any, leaving any holes or tearing the foam or anything like that. Uh, this uh, silicone foam is like pretty, pretty good at bouncing back, and the holes are not noticeable at all. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. Um, I glued the rest of the piece down, other shoulder, forearms on each side, and then I'm doing the back now. Um, but that's all, all you need. Um, I don't want to do like a big old video for something that is uh, uh, very straightforward. So 
Same process if you're doing the legs, you gotta find yourself a mannequin or a duct tape dummy, or if you're doing it on yourself, put some saran wrap on you. Uh, it's a good um, idea to have a good uh, sense of your own uh, dimensions and where those muscles are gonna rest. Uh, so that's why I like to use this body form. Um, again, if you purchase a muscle kit, that's uh, what you're gonna need to do. If you purchase a, a single mesh shirt, then uh, for those of you that ask uh, what's a single mesh um, sh muscle shirt or a single mesh muscle suit, it's basically this. It's exposed uh, muscles um, glued onto a mesh, a four-way stretch uh, mesh uh, bodysuit, shirt, or pants. Uh, if you get the double mesh option, which I encourage you to do that, um, it's an extra layer of mesh that's on top of the muscle and that not only protects the, the muscle suit, but it also uh, reduces friction when you put on uh, your costume on top, it's gonna uh, come on and off easier. So that's double mesh, okay. So double mesh right here, single mesh right here. Uh, muscles are available a la carte so you hey man I just want to purchase a chest or some abs some shoulders forearms calves um, you know thigh muscles whatever the case uh, hit me up uh, or if you're um, getting a whole kit then you know this is what comes with the top portion um, as well as the back and um, pants you get like thighs and calves and um, yeah so if you need any more info, have any more questions, hit me up, l.fet.projects at gmail.com, and I'll see you on the next one.